Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Lakers fan, and it was uploaded by Space Ice, and name this video is, Bruce Willis Die Hard is so good, it pretends to care about your stupid day. Best movie ever. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Die Hard. Die Hard's is a good movie. Bruce Willis I like Die Hard. Blockbuster I've seen movie. them all. Where Maybe he showed one. the world they're all a bunch of <laughs> pussies. You're Damn. amazing. You figured this all out already. Rest in peace it to starts mother, off man. with this guy teaching a valuable lesson. You want to know the secret to surviving air travel? I don't understand. Don't crash, this. and it's not a secret. Walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your That's toes. That's so stupid Thanks. in this movie. Now shut the f*** up and stop looking at him. Yeah, then things creepy. go from bad to worse when his driver... I'm your limo driver. Is a blind 12 year old. He's 12, what? But there's no time to worry <laughs> about that because Willis is way more concerned about the stuffed bear that's come to life and oh, switched yeah. seats. Weird, man. So he tells him I to drop him movie off here and if ago? the bear hasn't killed him in two hours, that's creepy, to pick man. him back up. You might have remember that when you signed for the. He makes wow. the most of it by there. crashing a Christmas party and is having a good time. Merry Christmas! Don't bring up cigar bells that his wife can <laughs> sense from miles away, so she hauls ass down there and immediately begins nagging. Exactly. What's your idea of our marriage? That hair, though. That's what he gets for thinking he's allowed to have fun. While <laughs> that's happening, these Lakers fans... So Kareem rebounds, right? The bad guys, you mean. Murder security for no reason. Which is Shit. more than enough reason for Lakers fans. Then what we the check fuck? In with Why these you call them Lakers fans? I don't remember really to mention that in the movie. Off. Kicking it down the garage. And you can't help but be happy for them. Now things start turning around and he finally gets some good news. When the nope. Lakers fans take everyone hostage. <laughs> to the bad guys. They probably just won a preseason game or something. It's all yeah. pretty standard. They want money. This party has been a total downer and since he's got the one wife gun. showed up anyways. So he checks out what else is happening. And son of a bitch, he just realized he wasn't wearing shoes. I know, I, I didn't understand that did part. did he not notice? And why didn't anyone kept, tell him? should have kept his fucking <laughs> shoes on. Somebody had a foot fetish making that part. trying to think of a way to make it seem like he's barefoot on purpose. <laughs> He runs into the Lakers fans, and holy <laughs> shit, do they know how to party. They yeah, also they got the weaponry confused and shit. the fuck out of him. I read the article in Forbes. Because no sure. Lakers fan has ever said those words. <laughs> Willis gets suspicious almost, and I wish doubts they that. really are Lakers fans. People have got it time, though. I have to myself. Okay, they're definitely not. Okay. Never mind. Shot him. Yes, they are. Willis has finally had enough of Lakers fans always <laughs> ruining Stop saying Lakers fans so many times. So now yeah. it's on. You beat that too, asshole. On a happier note, these two are a couple now. <laughs> <laughs> and their no, affection is contagious. Anyways, nah. he gives those sons of bitches a taste of their own medicine by pulling the fire alarm like oh, a yeah. high schooler. We've got a fire alarm. The head super fan thinks quick. Give them the building code number and cancel the alarm. And everything Open will be guy. okay unless... Oh shit, Carl motherfucking Winslow. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say something. I After sure he showed up, you know. crime in Chicago and Miami, <laughs> along with some crazy time travel shit. <laughs> LA's up next, and I want to see Steve Urkel coming so there too. Fucked. Alex had a nervous and saggy finger. 
So Carl they motherfucker get desperate whistle. and send Jeffrey Dahmer in. But <laughs> Willis Dahmer. knows he's from Milwaukee, which Come makes on. him a two-teamer <laughs> piece of shit. That's not which who that is, is by far the worst thing about Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> he tries to say some bullshit about Kareem, but Willis doesn't want to hear it. Or is that the guy who does Jeffrey Dahmer? <laughs> Yeah, big now that that disloyal piece of shit is dead, we learn some very personal information about Willis. Nine million terrorists in the world, and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. His sister is fucking massive, but that doesn't <laughs> matter because we still have this Carl Winslow, man. who had to run an errand real quick. <sighs> but don't worry, he's gonna. F you guys up. Alex had another business. Hey, now you become Carl the story of worlds. In what? the meantime, we get a vault heist. Yeah. And then find out Santa has a fucking machine gun. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And holy shit, we have so much going on right it's now. Maybe, uh, and it's, it's, it's it just keeps going with action awesome. So Willis goes to find out what's taking Carl so long. And son of a <laughs> bitch, he's having car trouble. You don't keep calling Carl. So he has to stall. But he also has this condition. So What's he, he decides to wait it out in this air vent where he, he learns just a thing or two safe. about empathy. I know what a TV dinner feels like. Okay, his car troubles are taken care of, and he's ready to save the hey motherfucker. <laughs> now he has to fill out a report and call his insurance company. It's gonna be a whole thing. Dino After Dino. taking his frustration out on the window. Willis He's decides, the window. It, he'll do it himself. We got and it's the greatest line in movie history. I really like those sequin shirts. Fuck yeah. What? But that much awesome comes at a price, and now we get more of her nagging. Unless you like it messy, I'd start bringing us in groups to the bathroom. Yeah, oh she's kind of annoying. Would you please fuck? off <laughs> on the plus side things have never been better with these two and she's not gonna ruin it for them then the vice principal from Shermer high school shows up and is as what, much what? of a prick as ever we don't know shit, pal. and while yeah, each one of his like guys that. is what a brain, an too. athlete a basket case a princess and a criminal they're <laughs> also <laughs> fucking dead what are you talking about between them dying, her nagging. I have a request. And oh, them God. fighting. Kill the mood. Shut up. This is turning into a real <laughs> shit show. But what about the body that fell out the window? I think he means person. But anyways, Willis gets things back on track <laughs> by blowing up the building that he's inside of. Oh shit, that's one of the bombs. So badass. See four whatever. Then, so in case Vernon in didn't get the message, he tells him to eat shit. Listen to me, Jerkoff. If we be a part of the fucking problem and put the other guy back on. Now yeah, Willis Carl is there. in charge, but not so fast because this guy's no joke. I negotiate million dollar deals from Bristol. This dumbass prick. I trash. can't stay in here. And him. these Lakers fans are gonna know what hit them. Anyway, Willis coming. is in charge, and things start going his way when he runs into former Patriots cornerback Willie Clay. <laughs> Why's he calling him Lakers fans anyway? While he almost didn't recognize him without pads and helmets, the cowardice and lack of self-respect <sighs> oh, me, don't me, please. could it's a only trick. come from a Patriot. But Willis is just glad to have someone on his side while they wait for I Carl's think insurance better. adjusters to finish up. Sounds like an A7 scenario. Then, just when you're almost certain that he's a patriot, he stabs Willis in the back and yeah. removes all doubt. But he, know, but he knew that, though. for him, Willis is from New York. New York. Where they have a habit of making the patriots their bitch. <laughs> Oops. Now he's oh, extra shit. pissed that they're fans of the Lakers See, and Patriots, and probably the 
fucking Yankees too, so now they all must die. What the hell are you talking about? Just when he thinks it can't get any worse, Steven fucking Seagal shows up. You said he had to bring him up. that the structural integrity of the <laughs> building the is already compromised. They just won't let it go. He can't risk being anywhere this near that kind of weight, more, uh, but luckily, he knows bit, he whatever. can slowly walk over glass faster than Seagal could ever chase him. <laughs> when they get back, Maybe Fabio more is famous by bringing furious him up. because he was told this was a real movie, so what the f*** is he doing here? That man looks really pissed. This was supposed to be his big break. <laughs> And he can't believe it's not better. <laughs> we check back in with Carl, who's being railroaded, and the claims adjusters are blaming him for this. Love, shit. Bitch. And Carl is such a good guy that he's beating himself up over it. They can teach you everything except how to live with a mistake. Then suddenly, okay. the adjusters are in charge of the whole Lakers fan hostage situation. The bastards are probably pissing in their pants right now. Well, yeah, they are Lakers fans, so <laughs> let's hear the plan. Wow. Shut them down. We let them sweat for a while. These guys seem to really know their They're plan. professional bad guys. Give helicopters. What the f***? If that's not confusing enough, the Lakers uh. fans target the annoying wife. Gosh, it's very and I annoying. don't know whose side we're supposed to be on. Luckily, the movie knows we don't want to waste time thinking like fucking nerds. We just want to <laughs> watch Bruce Willis beat the sh out of Fabio. Yeah, After yes, the beating pop, him senseless for a good 20 to 25 minutes, he eventually gets <laughs> bored and sends him zip lining. It's been fun, but it's him, getting though. late, and he's ready to leave now. So if you would just tell him where his irritating wife is, hey! that would be great. He could have got somebody oh. hot. Oh my God! Why are you like this? Where is the phone? The thirtieth floor. One. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? You know he has no idea where the fucking vault is. And right there, two. Man. Why is the vault on the thirtieth floor? Who the f designed this? <laughs> You know what? I don't know. You're all idiots. Go f yourselves. He looks well, really that stupid does there. Make him feel better. It does. You had to make him barefoot throughout the entire show, show too. And are no fucking joke. <laughs> as they shoot a bolt action rifle at like 600 rounds a minute. Well, there's people Willis there. Willis doesn't have the time or patience for this, so he yolos it off the side of the building to avoid having to deal with the insurance company. Mom goes I'm off, back, little bastard. But they get cocky and forget this is near the end of an 80s They're action dumb movie shit. where all buildings are required by law to blow the f*** up. <laughs> There's a lot of explosions on this. Anyways, he follows the sound of incessant nagging. What are you gonna do? Sit here while the building's Oh, we're coming to the end, Lyle. To find his wife. All right! But there's gotta be some God. way to shut her up. Fucking jackpot. <laughs> now he gets <laughs> the final showdown between Willis and the bandwagon fans. They end up trading some really weird insults. John Wayne does not walk off into the sunset with Grace Kelly. Uh, that's true. He never did that. It's Gary Cooper, asshole. John Wayne didn't walk off with oh. Gary Cooper either. What the f is happening right now? I don't know. You made a pretty good cowboy yourself. If he grew up in the 90s, I'm sure he would. <laughs> now that the small talk's done, Willis busts out his secret weapon, his infectious laugh. <laughs> And he laughs along with him. <laughs> and this While guy started she's laughing. furious that people are happy, Willis <laughs> starts shooting and hits Willie. Oh, y'all heal And that's and definitely who he was aiming for. But Willie grabs what's her name. <laughs> and Willis pretends to care until <laughs> Willie Pretend. grabs her fucking watch. That watch is an heirloom from Willis's dad, and you have no idea what he went through. So he kills Willie again. And then his wife scene. punches the EPA guy. Shit. For disrespecting that Walter Bill from Murray. Then Fabio's back, and yeah, everyone's is, gonna die. 
only Carl motherfucking Winslow, bitch, who comes out <laughs> like a goose to the face. Yeah, he's playing play around. And Fabio's fucked. Yep. There you go. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here. So yeah, my name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.